The holidays are approaching, and that means lots of family photos. So many family photos. <laughs> Here with some tips on how to store and share all of those beautiful photos is the U.S. Editor-in-Chief of Tech Radar, Lance Ulanoff. Lance, hi. All right, where, where do we start? To begin, Lance, you heard me backstage. I have 108 thousand photos on my phone I, and I can never find any photo I'm, I'm, I'm looking realizing for. now because there's 1.8 trillion photos taken every year most of them during the holidays but maybe most of them are on your phone <laughs> yes so I'm going to show you how to save store protect and share your photos so this is basically how you do it and by the way the the, the first word here is the cloud okay right? so okay that's not true but <laughs> there it is yes. yeah Google Photos so Google Photos is a great app because it's free. You can put it on any device, your iPhone, your Android device, your desktop. You turn it on, you choose your photos, and you basically start backing up. And you can set it to back up automatically so you don't even have to think about it. So it's easy, and it's also easy to share with friends and family folders, you know, albums of photos that people can even... Even if they don't have Google Photos? If they, if they don't have Google Photos, they can still share through email. Okay, But it. it's easier if they have Google Photos. Got it. So also, of course, on your iPhone, you have iCloud. Right. But a lot of people don't turn on iCloud, all right? So I have a billion and one photos of my own. And mm. basically, you want to make sure that in your settings, where it says iCloud Photos, mm -hmm. turn that on, all okay. right? You turn that on automatically. If your phone is lost, don't worry. Your, phones are, your photos are in the cloud easily retrievable and also shareable. And the point about sharing is yes. when we're all at the same holiday party, we can all see the same photos. You can have one photo, one folder set up and everybody can share to the same folder and you can even have that playing on one of your TVs in the house. One thing to remember though that I did want to mention, you will probably want to buy some extra storage. You yes. don't have enough storage on your phone for all your photos and videos, so you will start to pay and that's with any of them. Uh, there so you can store your photos for free with some services. So this is, by the way, on iCloud, okay. how you can share with friends. All right, Amazon, if you're an Amazon Prime customer, you can store all your photos for free right ah, now. Okay. All right? okay. the, photo, the, the video will cost you a little bit more. Got it. What if you're going to store locally? All right? What if you're going to store your photos and you want to make sure that they're not going to be lost with your phone? All right? You could store them on a hard drive, a little hard drive. This is actually a hard drive. This is two terabytes of storage. The great thing about this is one, it's solid state. So that means that it won't break down. And two, they're about $75. So it's easy to have them and make sure that you can how many, photo, how many photos? Oh my thousands. God, thousands. Thousands. Okay. Thousands and thousands like of photos. Like, with my phone situation, right I there. could do that in there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can do this. It's easy. And there's, there's software that will automatically back up to these drives, too, if you want. Amazing. Hey, listen, we need to take a little break, but more ways to store and share all your holiday photos when we come back. We're back with Lance Zulinoff, and we're talking about the best ways to share all of your photos with family and friends this holiday season, besides the old-fashioned way, like I do it, with a photo album. <laughs> Remember those? <laughs> Google it, kids. It's fun. <laughs> So, yes, obviously, you can share all your online albums, which is great. And just remember that if you can do this, you can store your photos locally on a hard drive. Yes. But you should also do it in the cloud, too. Double your, double your backup uh, option so you have no chance of losing your photos. And by the way, if you want something that's easy, yeah. that's, that's not easy, but is powerful and can store every single photo and every single file you have, it's a NAS drive. Network-attached storage, set up in your house. Access it from anywhere in the world. Show people photos. It's NAS drive. Yep, NAS, NAS drive. They NAS. are they, NAS. So one other thing I wanted to talk about is, so you see this, this is called photo scan because guess what we have? Mm -hmm. We have boxes of photos. We have boxes yep. and boxes of photos, all right? Yes. I have thousands upstairs. And the thing is about these, you can scan your photos. You basically, it guides you to the four points and it takes Pictures of your photos that are not blown out, that don't have the flash on them, that are perfectly cropped, and of course, stored and shared because there's just so many of these. And by the yes. way, if you have so many, like too many, millions and millions of these up yes. in your attic, uh -huh. there are services online. You can send the whole box to them. And they'll and do they'll, it for you. They will do it for you. They will put it on the cloud. They'll put it on a drive. And you don't have to worry about it at all. I they like will that. send the photos back, too. I like yeah, but Thank you, you also have to rifle through for the topless ones and get rid of those. Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Lance. <laughs> for these tips and more, head to our website. We'll be right back. Just kidding.